The Scott Prospect and the 100% Armega, two premium, very popular goggles. Today, I'm putting them head-to-head -to, -head to help you decide which one is best for you. All right, everyone, thank you for checking in. I have the 100% Armega and the Scott Prospect. These are two premium goggles. If you're watching Supercross or Motocross, you're gonna see a lot of the top level riders that are wearing these. I have also spent a lot of time in both these goggles. So today's video, the purpose of this, is I wanna give you my personal feedback. I'm gonna put these head to head and give you my opinion on which one I feel is better in certain categories, like the fit, we'll talk about pricing, protection, different lens options, field of view, all the different categories that you would want to know about to help you decide which one of these might be best for you. Now, if maybe you're not looking at a prospect, but you're looking at the Armega and you wanna compare this to say an Oakley Airbreak or a Fox View, we have different versus videos of all the different goggles head to head. So give those a watch if you have other goggles that you're shopping for. We have a premium goggle buyer's guide that you can also watch. And keep in mind, I would love to hear your feedback. If you have one of the goggles on the table today, Tell me which one you have, your dislikes, your likes. That's also going to help other riders out that are looking at these get that conversation started. All right, let's kick it off. Price-wise, these are actually both pretty similar as far as price goes. For the Armega, you're starting out about 90 bucks for the clear lens options, and then you're up to about 120 if you're looking at a tinted lens or the hyper lens, which we'll talk about here in a little bit. With the Prospect, pretty similar. You're a little bit less starting out. You're going to be around 85-ish. And then you're up to about the same, about 120, depending on, again, the colorway, the lens options, also limited edition colorways as well. So pretty similar as far as price goes. Fit, and remember, we have our fit guarantee. Fit is very rider preference. Everyone's gonna have a different face shape, so even though one goggle might fit me one way, it might fit you a completely different. So our fit guarantee means that if you buy one of these, if you don't like how it fits, send it back in brand new unused condition, and we'll give you free shipping both ways on your first exchange. So if you bought a Prospect, you don't like how it fits, you could exchange it for an Armega, just to make sure you get what you want. But as far as the fit goes, this is one category that to me is one of the things that ultimately will help me decide which one of these goggles I would go with. They're both comfortable goggles. They both have really soft face foam, and I will say though that the Prospect to me feels a little bit wider when I put it on. The Armega, it's a little bit narrower. So for riders that have a narrower face, this is a great option. If you have a little bit wider face or if you put on a goggle, you don't like to feel like you have to kind of stretch it out to get around the corners of your eyes, the Prospect might be a little bit better option. However, here is one thing that I have noticed. When I put a Prospect on with the shape of the foam around the nose area, when I ride in these, what happens often is my helmet will start to push the goggle down and as it does that, it starts to pinch off my, my airway on my nose and I have a hard time breathing. So that's one thing I've noticed. The Armega doesn't do that. The shape of the face foam for me and my face is a little bit better because even if I get some down pressure from the helmet, I don't feel like the Armega pinches off the airway on my nose. Again, that's personal preference, but that's what I've noticed between the fit on both of these. As far as colorways go, oh man, pick your poison. They both have so many cool colorways. 100% does a killer job, so does Scott. These guys have new colorways coming out all the time. And as far as just looks in general, again, that's rider preference. I've always loved the look of the Prospect. I think no matter what helmet you put these in, I just think it's one of the best looking goggles out there. Doesn't mean I don't like the Armega, but I just tend to like the look of the Prospect just a little bit more. All right, so let's talk about face foam real quick. So like I mentioned, they both have a triple layer face foam, does a great job of absorbing sweat. They're both very comfortable against the skin. So with the Prospect, you can see they actually have these little dimples on here. Again, that's just gonna help with the sweat management. But something unique about the Armega is they actually have perforation in that face foam. So you have holes that are in there. And then on top of the goggle, you notice that they have this, I just call it a gutter. And the idea behind that is that if you're a big sweater and that thing in your face foam is just getting soaked with sweat, the idea is, is your sweat will push through the face foam and then into this gutter and then drain out the sides versus dripping into the actual goggle itself. Now, from my personal experience, I've ridden the Armega when I've got really hot, really sweaty. I am yet to actually see sweat go into that gutter and off to the side. 
So for me, I haven't really noticed that. So again, that's just my personal experience. I'd love to hear if you've experienced something different. But what I will say is that both these goggles do do a great job with that foam of absorbing a lot of sweat. So they do fantastic there. As far as venting goes, these are probably two of the better venting goggles on the premium category that I've ridden in. The Prospect though, I think takes the cake in this. The Prospect, when you look, and here's why. The, the Armega has these vents that are down here in the nose guard area to help force air up into the, the goggle itself. So they do a great job. I haven't had any issues with these fogging up on me. But the Prospect, when you look at the top and the foam all the way around these on the frame, it's a much more porous face foam than what you get on the Armega. In fact, I've heard some riders even say that there's too much air circulation with the Prospect because if you're riding really dusty conditions, they feel like too much dust gets inside the lens. But as far as maybe you're doing trail riding, single track, you're going to slower speeds, and you're riding in colder weather conditions, and you don't want to worry about your lens fogging, well, the Prospect might be a little bit better in that situation. But don't forget that the Armega does sell a dual vented lens that is built to combat fogging. So again, colder weather conditions, going to slower speeds, you could check out that dual vented lens, and that would be a great option for the Armega. All right, frames. So with these, they both have outriggers. If you're not familiar with outriggers, it's simply just to help give a better fitment when the goggle is inside the helmet. So that way the strap, rather than pulling on the frame of the goggle away from the rider's face, it pulls in the outrigger. So it just helps give a good tight seal around the face once you have the goggle on. These both have that. One other noticeable difference is with the pins for the tear-off systems. So you notice that the Prospect has the pins on the, the actual lens, but there's no post on the outrigger. With the Armega, you have that third post on the left outrigger. Keep in mind, so if you get a prospect, you're like, oh, I don't have a third post. If you buy tear-offs, they will have a post that attaches to your strap in that package. So just something to keep in mind. Now, as far as lenses go, and here I'm talking about the clarity of the lenses, the field of vision, the protection for the rider's eyes, this is a big category as well. When you're buying a premium goggle, yeah, you want one that looks really cool, but you also want to invest in good safety. And the good news is, both of these have great safety systems to keep the lens in place even when you got roost coming off those motorcycles or maybe hit a tree branch or something if you're doing some trail riding. So with the Prospect, they use a traditional Lexan lens, which means you curve the lens when you put it into the frame of the goggle. It's not injection molded. And that to me is one of the gripes that I have with the Prospect is I feel like Scott is due to have an injection molded lens for their goggles. Just because an injection molded lens like the Armega has means it's optically correct, so when you look out of it, it's not going to distort your vision. And the Prospect, Prospect has good clarity, but in my opinion, it's not as good as you're going to get with the Armega having an optically correct lens. But you still have great safety with this because they actually have four pins that lock the lens in place. So again, if you get something that hits the, the lens of the goggle, that's gonna protect the rider's eyes. One thing I do love about Scott goggles though is their light sensitive lens. And that's an option that you can buy that will come with some of these goggles. And what's cool about that lens is that it will change. It will automatically tint in bright sunlight, but maybe you get in some cloud cover and there's not as much sunlight, it will start to get clearer. So if you don't wanna have to worry about swapping out lenses, that light sensitive lens is one of my favorites. I wish they had that option for all goggles out there. Now with the Armega, the Armega uses an injection molded lens, so it's optically correct. That's a win in my book. As far as how they protect the rider's eyes, it's actually a two millimeter lens, so it's a little bit thicker, and they actually have six points of contact when you put the lens into this frame that keep it in place. So we're talking really good protection for the rider's eyes. Now, one other thing about the Armega is they have their hyper lens, which is a pretty cool technology. I'm sure a lot of people have heard about the prism lenses from Oakley. So the hyper lens is kind of 100% version of that. And what it does, it just increases the contrast. It just gives the rider a little bit more depth perception just to make things stand out and make your vision a little bit better when you're riding. So I've ridden with the hyper lens from 100%. I think it's a great lens. I also think all their other tinted lenses are great options. Same goes for the Scott Prospect. Field of view. This is important because the Prospect in my book wins in this category. I think when you put a Prospect on, I feel like I just get a little bit more field of vision, which I like, and I can actually show you why that is true. Because when you look at the tops of these two goggles, you notice how, see the difference in the thickness from the, face, the edge of the face foam to the edge of the frame of the goggle on both of these? You see how the Armega is definitely, you can see, is thicker? Well, any time that you have more width from the face foam to the edge of the goggle, what that means is it gives you more of a tunnel vision. And the thicker that is, 
the less peripheral vision that you're going to have out of a goggle. And it's noticeably clear, you can noticeably see that the, the prospect isn't as thick, it's narrower. So that's why I feel like it gives you better peripheral vision and that's what I feel when I'm looking out of both of these. Lens change system. This is important because even though the prospect wins in the field of view, the Armega hands down takes this without a question. It's much easier with their lens changing system to swap out a lens on the Armega. It's easy, it's not as easy as an Oakley air brake, but it's not far off. With the prospect, that's probably one of my nitpicks, is changing the lens on these is kind of a hassle. Sometimes I'll put the new lens in, I have a hard time getting those posts to go into the lens. So it's just not the best system, it just takes a little bit more time. Is that a deal breaker for me with the prospect? No, but if you're being picky and you're choosing between these two and the better lens changing option is important to you, then the Armega is going to take that category. So last few things to mention with these, they both come with nose guards, those are removable. With lenses, if you buy an Armega with a tinted lens, you do not get a clear lens included. Keep that in mind, you'd have to buy that separate. But if you buy a Prospect and you, have, you get a tinted lens option, you will get a clear lens that will come included. You can get roll-offs for both of these, which is nice. You can get standard and laminated tear-offs for both as well. Aside from that, both really good goggles. They're both awesome looking, ton of awesome colorways. I really don't think you can go wrong with either one, but if you were to ask me which one would I choose, I'm gonna go with the Armega. Here's why. Couple key reasons for me. One, we talked about it earlier, the fit. Just for me, I'm not a big fan of how the prospect presses down on my nose, kind of pinches off my airway a little bit. With the Armega, I don't really get that nearly as much. And also, I like the lens changing system on the Armega. I like to take my lens out and clean it every time before I go ride. It's not uncommon for me to swap out my lenses during the day if the light's changing. So I like that it's easier to swap out the lens on the Armega. Aside from that, I love the look of these things. I think they're both phenomenal, but that's why I want to hear your feedback. Leave your comments below. Which one do you have? What do you like? What do you dislike? Get that conversation started. That's really going to help other riders out. And if you think there's another goggle that I should compare with these that we haven't done already, well, let us know what that is. We'll get rocking and rolling on it. To pick your new goggles up today and to see all the colorways that are available in both of these, click on the link or head to RockyMountAtvMC.com. Remember, orders over $75 ship free. And if you guys like this goggle versus, you need to get subscribed to the Rocky Mountain YouTube channel. Hit that notification bell because like I mentioned earlier, we have versus on other premium goggles. We have boot versus videos. We've, all, we've got all the best content to get you guys rocking and rolling and ready for your next ride. I am Chase and we'll see you on the trails.